subscribe to Diazonic Labs and click on bell icon to get latest updates. If you have ever wanted to transfer data or even charge a device, you have probably seen and used a USB cable. But sometimes, as you may have realized with disappointment that those devices or those cables you have may sometimes fail to fit the gadget you wanted to use and you're faced with a sad realization. Not all USB interfaces are the same. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. But the universal in its name can be a bit misleading as there are many different types of USB connectors and few different standards. Hence, today's tutorial will be focused on understanding the different types and generations of USB and to understand and identify the various USB connectors. This is Azeep from Diazonic Labs and this video will be one of the many in the series of videos explaining the various computer technologies. The USB was first developed in the 1990s and there have been a lot of technological developments since then. The newest USB cables may offer faster speeds and different compatibility, which means it pays to know a bit more about the differences between each types. The logo which we see here is the official USB logo. Created as the part of USB 1.0 spec, the USB icon was drawn to resemble Neptune's trident, or at least that's what most of the research scholars would mention. We don't know the exact origin of the logo, but this is the most common theory we could say. All right, moving ahead, USB cable come with seven different basic type of connectors. So these connectors are say type A, type B, type mini A, type mini B, type micro A, type micro B and type C. Now let's try to briefly understand about a few of these connectors. The type A connector, this is the standard connector found on one end of almost every USB cable. It's a rectangular connector that only fits in one way. You'll find several USB A ports on virtually every desktop computer or even laptops. Many TVs, game systems, cars, media players and other devices have one or more too. Let's move on. The Type B connector. This is an older connector that's not nearly used as often nowadays. It's almost square at one end and usually plugs into a printer or similar device. Other than these users, it's been largely overtaken by the newer standards. Right, the initial USB Type A and Type B connectors had four pins. And now the latest generation USB Type A and Type B have nine pins. The increase in number of pins is to make the device able to transmit the data at the speed with the latest standards enable it to. Right, moving on the mini USB connectors. As the name suggests, this is a smaller connection type that's good for mobile devices. It's largely superseded by micro USB, but you'll still find it on some cameras, MP3 players, game controllers, and other such devices. Mini USB type A was discontinued altogether due to various technical issues and was replaced by mini USB type B. We would still see mini USB type B connectors on older mobile phone, but it's drastically been phased out as well. Right, moving on, like the mini USB type A, the micro USB type A was also not very popular and it was rarely used for any commercial appliances. Whereas the micro USB type B is a tiny connector that's popular on all kind of portable devices. Everything from Android phones to external battery packs to Bluetooth headphones uses a micro USB port. However, some smartphones have now moved on to the newer USB Type-C port. Right. Speaking of the connectors and the number of pins, both the mini as well as the micro ports initially, or rather the older versions had five pins, but the newer versions have 10 pins to make for the transmission of high speeds. Okay, similar to the way it was in the type A and type B, the mini and micro ports also have the pins increased on them. 
All right, let's move on. Uh, this is the type micro B USB 3.0. It's the advanced version of type micro B. This was for the older one. So this is, if you see the connector, the connector, this whole connector is added and there is extra bits, the extra pins added, the extra pins are for transmission. So this we can see on multiple external hard drives which come up. Moving on, the type C connector is the newest USB standard. It's different from the other type as it is reversible. The other pins, none of the other connectors are reversible. Type C is the first uh, connector which is a reversible connector. USB Type C is slowly being adopted by device manufacturers. Many newer Android phones like the Samsung Galaxy series and Google Pixel devices uses Type C. Apple's newest MacBook and MacBook Pro models only feature USB Type C ports as well. If you know about Type C, you may also have heard about the Thunderbolt hardware interface. This is a standard that allows a type C port and cable to transfer data at speedy rates, connect to high resolution displays and perform other tasks. So type C is kind of like the next universal connector. But not every type C port supports Thunderbolt 3 though. For example, Apple new, Apple's newest MacBook Pro model feature several Thunderbolt C, Thunderbolt uh, 3 USB type C ports. So that means uh, this type C ports have the Thunderbolt capability. But the standard uh, MacBook single USB port lacks the Thunderbolt support. Because of all this, type C is a little bit confusing. So all we need to understand is this port can either be a basic USB port similar to the ones who, whose function is only to transmit the data or it can be uh, used for multiple jack purposes like uh, connecting to displays and everything which is the latest version. This depends on the device. Right, so USB type C will be the standard in the future. So it will have all the capabilities added onto it. But for now, let's understand that it, uh, it can be just a normal device like the other connectors or it can be a multipurpose jack as well. So that's it for this video. We'll see more about the same in the upcoming tutorials. Please do like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials.